Hey, what's up, y'all? This your girl Gigs. Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a live Dear Gigs here on Blog TV. So when I'm reading, like some of the comments, don't get like you know too fucked up. I'm reading from people that's actually here watching me read these letters from Dear Gigs. I also want to say before I start getting in this letter to stop sending me paragraphs. Send me something short. Make it you know short. I know everybody got to a story to tell and shit but stop sending me these books to read because I refuse to read them I like it short and simple and straight to the point so with that being said I also want to say this too because I had to re-record this video proofread please proofread when you write me because it is so confusing especially when I'm doing it live so anyways let me go ahead and go with this letter right here it says dear gigs I love how you tell it like it is in certain situations. Can you please tell me why my girl carries some kind of odor? I want to say I am a chubby chaser and I will not date under a size 18. But I never had a big girl who smells like she do. I want to tell her straight up that her pussy stink. But I don't want to hurt her feelings. Gigs, you probably think this is a joke, but I am a, in desperate need of your help on this one. You can call me CJ in your vi video. P.S. I wish you were my girl because you are so beautiful and you look like you smell good. I do smell good. Okay. So, CJ, I was prepared for this letter. I had read this letter before I even recorded. Um, I got three things for you to do. Well, really four things. The first thing that you need to do is tell her straight the fuck up that her shit stink. Whenever she wants you to go down on her, I don't know if you lick the cake or you, you know, die down south and shit. But whenever you smelling the cat or whatever, the first thing you need to do is what Martin said to do on his uh, live comedy thing. Is put your fingers in this bitch pussy and put it to her nose and let her know this you right here. This you smell is this you and I'm gonna tell you this it ain't nothing more embarrassing like being a big girl we've been embarrassed all our lives we've been picked on all our lives and I'm telling you once you tell her that her pussy stink you gonna help every nigga out that comes after you and you gonna help yourself because she gonna have that shit embedded in her it's gonna be stamped, stamped in her brain that this man had to tell me my pussy stank, so I can't let this shit happen no more. I gotta make sure that I'm smelling good down there. So, I, like I said, I got that. That was one thing I told you. I got three more things to tell you that I can suggest to you. You gotta always keep it real with these motherfuckers because they making it look bad for a big bitch like me. We always get stereotyped as being stink. All big girls get stereotyped as being stink. When I was in high school growing up. They used to say that I was stink, but I know that I done sprayed the whole damn bottle of Victoria's Secret on me. So I knew that I wasn't stink, but they used to say that shit. But still, we always get stereotyped as being stink. In her situation, she's not stereotyped because this bitch is funky. So this is what you do. You go out to your local Walmart or to your local drugstore and you get her some FDS spray. Feminine deodorant spray. Just like you have to spray up under your motherfucking arms with deodorant, you, you can spray the pussy. Now, I don't need this here because my pussy smells extra fresh. My pussy smells good. The only time I need this, that's probably why I got a whole bottle, is because I use this after my menstrual cycle go off. Because, you know, after you, you know your menstrual cycle cleans you out and shit so I use that after my menstrual cycles go off but I don't need this but I do have it for backup so get her some FDS or get her some summer's eve body wash and this is not body body wash this here is pussy wash really it's a feminine wash as it says feminine wash go out and get her some of this now I do use this I use this uh, sometimes because I do have like 
some other body washes that makes the pussy smell good, like Victoria's Secret and stuff. But I use this when I run out of my Victoria's Secret, so that's probably why this here is full too. But you know, I suggest to use Summer's Eve body wash or pussy wash or feminine wash and shit. If she got sensitive skin, get the sensitive skin kind. Now, last but not least. I carry this everywhere I go. I don't know if everybody else do this. Every other female do this. I carry this everywhere I go only because after doing number one or doing number two, it just makes me feel so much fresher. Get her some Summer's Eve feminine cloths. Some feminine cloths. I like to use this all the time. I take this. I always go and get these. It's like $2. And I carry it in my purse. It's like a travel size. And I carry it in my purse. Even before sex. I always, uh, for some reason, I always have to pee right before sex. So I go pee, I go wipe it off with this right here, you know what I'm saying? Make pussy smell good. Ain't nobody going to eat your pussy after you done piss. So they'll eat your pussy after you done piss if you don't use some summer's eve. But I never had that problem of having a stank pussy. But out of all three of these, if you have to, go get her all three of these shits. If you have to. And, you know... Teach her how to keep her shit clean so you can go down there and do what you got to do. And I promise you, you're going to make it better for all the niggas that come after you. Because it's going to be stamped in her mind. It's embarrassing, but it's going to be stamped in her mind that this man had to tell me my shit stink. I can't let this happen no more. So, that's what I got to say about that. <coughs> let me see what everybody else has to say about it. <coughs> get her uh, some feminine wash I know it's sad and it's not funny but I laugh like fuck <laughs> summer's eve you dish it I don't douche I don't use the dish I don't know why but you know growing up my mom and them it's the old people that put this in your head they say when you when you dish it it the vinegar dries you out or some shit like that. I forgot how what the what the whole theory was about dushing. I don't dush personally because I just feel like after my menstrual cycle goes off, I take a good shower and I use this here feminine wash. That's all I need. My pussy don't stink. And it's a lot of bitches if they do the same thing I do and I know, especially using these here feminine rags and shit. That right, it's it's magic. It's just like wet ones. It's just like wet ones because I have wet ones in my bathroom. And when I don't have, when I still have the wet ones, I have both of these. So like, I use the wet ones after doing the number two. After doing the number two because it makes me feel so much fresher. You know what I'm saying? And I done said it plenty of times before live. I probably ain't said it on YouTube, but I like to get my ass lit too. So you know. You, you know, wet ones is good. As well as these damn, um, some of these things and shit. But that's all I have to say about that whole thing. Hope CJ get that shit together. If he truly love her, keep it real with her. Tell her that she smell or get in the shower with her. Truth does not hurt. That's what Love B88 says, and I agree with that. Polk County says he has to love her for her because... Most men would have left her alone. True. Uh, Southern Fried Chicken says, Love the whites. Play text. I always make them too. Uh, yep. Chiggy says, He don't love her. Can't y'all tell? He said he wished Giggs was his girl. <laughs> he probably do love her. That's, you know, everybody have a fantasy girl and shit. But, you know, Polk County... Princess says she just needs to take more than one bath a day. I mean, I don't know why, you know what I'm saying, she stank. I can't say why she stank because I don't stink. But I know being big, we've been stereotyping that. And also being big, we have crevices and fat rolls and stuff. And all of that carries, you know, sweat and shit. So... Got it. She gotta just learn how to wash herself right and clean herself right, and those products right there will help her. So that's the only one letter I did. That's it for dear gigs. Only because Blog TV allows me to record ten minutes, and this just took up my ten minutes. So um, 
the next time I do Dear Gigs, it's going to be on you stream. But I wanted to get this out of the way. So, all of my BBWs, let's kill this stereotype about us being stank. Let's kill that stereotype. So, 